the team behind CodeCrafters reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to try the platform. And so far I'll say that it's something new. The platform breaks down the process of creating an app into smaller chunks. So the process looks something like this. Before I show you how the platform works, I'm going to give you a fair warning. If you're someone who's interested in GUI or graphical applications, the site doesn't have challenges that teach you how to write graphical applications and the like. The site mostly focuses on CLI tools. And even with the CLI focus, looking over the challenge list, they don't seem to have many challenges to build an interpreter or compiler. But that could change. They have a pending list of challenges which members of the site can vote on. So far, judging by the votes, it looks like the next challenge will be to build a version of Bash. Okay, so let's actually start a new project and see how the site works. To start a new project, select one of the challenges. Now I'm gonna try the HTTP server challenge. Since I already completed the challenge, I'm gonna attempt this challenge again. Now select the language you wanna use for this challenge. I'm gonna pick C. Now I have to run these two commands to set up my repo. So as you can see on CodeCrafters, my progress has been updated and I can continue to the next stage. Okay, so what do we have to do here? So this stage tells you to uncomment the commented code and then push it to CodeCrafters again. So that seems pretty easy, let's do that. So it tells you to uncomment this block to pass the first stage. So let's do that. Okay, so moving on to the next stage, what we have to do here is, it looks like we have to respond with a 200 status code to any response. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to, I guess, so I guess we have to find where this accepts messages. Okay, so I'm gonna do client socket is equal to whatever I get from this accept. Then I guess we have to create a buffer for whatever message we get. So we we'll say char buffer before. Maybe I should comment this. I should say read from the client. So this buffer is going to be used to read the data we get from the client. So I'm going to say receive client socket. I'm going to pass in my buffer. I'm going to pass in the size of my buffer here. And I think we just pass a zero here. Okay, and for this section, I'm going to respond. So I'm going to say respond to the client. So this is going to be a response. We're going to take this. I'm going to put this right in our code. Then we're gonna send to our client socket, socket the response, and uh, I guess to calculate the length we'll use str len res. I'm not sure if I need to include the null kicker or not. Yeah, whatever. Pass a zero. Reading from the client, then we're sending back whatever. Okay, so I think that should be enough. Let's uh, try to submit this code. So as you do more challenges, they will get harder and you really need to think of how you're going to model this program going forward. So if you want to check out CodeCrafters, click the link in the description below and I will see you later.